Well, I'm here tonight to uh, formally announce something that it's been in the works for quite a while. There's been different variations of it. Uh, originally, last fall, we did a press conference where we announced a tour to commemorate the 10th anniversary. And that tour kind of fell through for various reasons. And then also we had kind of, after the tour had fallen through, we had kind of decided to go another route. We were going to start up another company. That fell through. So now, so a bunch of things have happened. Uh, we're all on the same page again. Well, four of us are on the same page. And what we're going to do is, I still have a rematch clause from when I lost the title to James. La almost a year ago, we're pretty much creeping up on when it was a year ago. So I have that rematch clause, and I, 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 did, re I, I did invoke it when I announced the Kill the King gauntlet at the, uh, at, for the tour. But now since that's off, I still get to invoke it again. So basically what we're going to do is, on this show, we're going to have the main event will be James defending the belt in a four-way match against me, the Shocker, and Michael Morton. Well, Chris Cabot Creations, when I first started this, it was called something different. It was Cole Cabot Creations, uh, because that was my name at the time. I don't remember why I changed it, but I did. Uh, so what it means to me is it's basically it's a the foundation of everything that I've ever done and anything I've ever done for anybody else. So when I bring in a wrestler, it'd be for Chris Cabot Creations. It'd be Chris Cabot Creations, basically the parent of everything else I did. It was the foundation of any company we did, any music we did, any video we did, anything. Like it was basically just the namesake of it. And I'm not saying that it's the namesake because of me. Like, it was named after me, yes, but I really didn't have too, too much to do with it other than the fact that it had my name. But uh, it means to me a lot of different things. Ten years now of great memories, you know, classic matches, friends, foes, people I'm indifferent to, you know, just it means a lot of things. And on this one match, what it means to me is Four of Chris Cabot Creations' biggest creations. You have the original, who started it, that's me. You have the Shocker, who's most notably the biggest creation we've ever had. You have Michael Morton, who the greatest wrestling creation we've ever had. And then you have James Adams, who is like, who is a lot more than anybody else expected him to be. So that's what it means to me. Being world champion to me means that you are the best in this industry. And it basically sums up sums up all of your hard work, everything you've ever done. When you win that world title, it's basically like the icing on the on the top of a cake for a career. Like that's basically what it means for me. I bring a complete 100% Chris Cabot. No more gimmicks, no more nothing. This is Chris Cabot. Anything I've done as Leviathan, anything I've done as Triple C, doesn't mean anything. Going into this match, this is Chris Cabot. You're going to see the most in shape Chris Cabot, the most technically sound Chris Cabot, the most extremely balanced Chris Cabot, the most violent Chris Cabot. You're going to see the most high flying Chris Cabot. Basically, you're going to see what I should have been all along and what I was at the beginning of my career. You're going to see everything I've done come into one and form a balanced Chris Cabot. That's what you're going to see. Michael Morton broke my arm once and then I... It was going to lead into a very huge match but then Michael Morton got scared and ran away. Oh. Actually, that's, that's just a joke. My fondest memory of Michael Morton is, I think he pulled off a, a moonsault on me off of a chair. That was very cool. I like that, even though it hurt like a bitch. I'd have to say my three stages of hell, my last match with James. That match was... Basically, anything I've ever done with James thrown into one. It was violent, it was technical, it was hardcore, it was emotional. You know, that was, that's my fondest memory of James. Now, 
had a lot of memories with the Shocker. Uh, I think a lot of people would actually say our Iron Man is our f would be like the most memorable moment of out of our anything we've done. But I actually really enjoyed any time I teamed with the Shocker. It was a pretty entertaining team, if I if I must say. But my fondest, fondest match against the Shocker, I'd have to say, our three stages of Pal that we had. I got pretty knocked unconscious in that match. That was uh, that was awesome. Uh, but that'd be my fondest moment. The Iron Man was good too. That's a tough question. Somebody, when I first met him, I didn't like him at all. And he really grew on me and earned, you know, earned what he got. Now, I didn't want to give him everything he could get right away. He did earn a lot of it. Did I appreciate him? I tried to. It's really hard to appreciate somebody who might seem like he's all in it, but he really isn't. And I tried to I tried to push him past the threshold, and he bailed on me. It's hard to give somebody something when they're not there. Now I've brought him back, and he's in this match. So do I think? Does he deserve to win the title? Yes. Do I think he will? He might. It all depends if he can get past a complete Chris Cabot, and not just Chris Cabot but he'll be trying to get past the Shocker who will be ready to shoulder block him out of the ring if need be. And he'll also be having to go through James Adams who will be scratching and clawing to keep his world title any means necessary. So I do appreciate Michael Morton. It's just been very hard. Going into this match, like I said, you will see a complete Chris Cabot. You'll see every style, every every genre of wrestling. You'll see anything all into this match. I'm very confident in who I am today. All the shit I've gone through, all the Aviathan, all the Triple C, all the Extina, all the Shocker, all the Michael Morton, all the James Adams, all everything, everything I've done, all the good and the bad. By the end of this match, Chris Cabot will retire as the world heavyweight champion and I will win this match by any means necessary.